Hi, I am Pratham. Today in this video, I am going to discuss the low level design of scribble game. In the previous video, I had discussed the high level design of the scribble game. If you haven't watched it yet, please watch it and subscribe to the channel to get more update of this project. So let's dive into low level design. So what is the purpose of low level design? So low level design is a actual component design in which we are going to discuss the logical implementation of this scribble game that how the logic of our game will work so let's discuss it so in our game we first need a public endpoint so let's have a public endpoint so what is the need of this public endpoint in our game that front end needs to connect with the back end for getting the data and the state of the player and the private view so this endpoint will also help us to create a websocket connection with the backend. We are having a only one endpoint that is here our domain name. This is going to be our endpoint. When the frontend hits at this domain, this will make a HTTP request which tells the backend server to create a websocket connection and websocket connection will bounce with 101 status code that is switching protocol that we have switched from http to the websocket so this is all we need at endpoint now let's discuss the state which is going to have in our project that is player so what does uh, this player have player has a name attribute ID and a link to avatar or a blob object of avatar we can either save link to avatar or a blob object of avatar so in this project we are going to use blob object of avatar to store the avatar that is the binary large object of image and one more thing the player have a role that is creator of the game or joiner that is the player has joined someone's private room so this is all we need for player and we have one more state that is room so room should have its id and a list of player ids who are the part of this private room and we need to store the core of each player and we have to store a, a round number that is current round and also uh, the room setting like number of rounds and time for each round and we need to store a current word for which the round is going on and the current player who is drawing on the canvas and round start time and also the game started flag and also the guest players ids they are the those player who has already guessed the word for a given round so this all we need for storing the state of the player and the role that is player has a name id and the avatar and the role and the room has id and the player ids list and the score of each player current round setting current word current player round start time game started flag and list of guest players ids so this is how state of the player and room will look like in our game so now let's discuss the event which is being produced by the web socket from client to the server and server to the client so first discuss client to the server so the event which we need to send to the server first create game the first player called the create game create the private room for other players and then we need a join game so that other players can join the game and the next event will be start game so that the player can start the game and we have two things in our game that is a lobby where the player waits 
until the game has been started and other thing a uh, game itself where the players will play the game so at lobby state we are having a setting for the room so we have to sync the lobby so we should have a one event that is lobby sync event or we can say it room sync event which helps us to sync the room settings with other players and we need other events like draw event if the player draws on the canvas it should send the draw event to the backend so that other players will also see the drawing and also we need a round sync event that is being used when when the player has chosen the word and it should reflects back to the all other players this all we need at our client side so while creating a game we will send a event that is create game and no param is needed for starting the game and at join game event player will send join game event to join to the particular private room and it, it needs room id as a param so that player can join that room id and while start game we don't need any param because all these sync at room level will be sync by this room sync event like we need to send room setting to the backend and draw event when player draw on the canvas it will send the array of commands or array of coordinates to the backend so that backend will broadcast the draw command to all the user which is a part of this private room and round sync event will help us to choose a word uh, now let's discuss the server to client event these are those event which is sent by the server to the client when something occurs at the room or the game for the particular room id so we need at server side that room sync event so this room sync event will responsible for syncing the room that is room setting and when new player joins the game or leave the game and for synchronize the game state and that's it for the room sync event so we will have one more event that is chat to send the test word or random word and we also have a chat event here to broadcast chat when it is not a guest word and we need a game and event to end the game which sends scoreboard to the client and we need one round sync event which is responsible for many things like for syncing current round for sending scoreboard to the client when something has changed on scoreboard and we need to sync current player and the player list if someone left the game in between so we have to sync the player list as well and promote the other player if needs and start flag or guest player id if someone has guessed the correct word then we have to sync the round and give them the points and we need to also store a round change flag and we have to also send a choosing flag if some player is choosing a word for the current round so this flag will indicate that at last we need one word list from which the player will choose the word so this is all we need in round sync event we now need a draw event which is just broadcast the commands or coordinates to other players and word reveal event when the current round timer is completed and some players haven't guessed the word then we should show them the correct word which is being chosen by the other player that is handled by this event word reveal event and last we need a chat event is send message 
or by whom to all the users which who are connected to uh, the private so this is all what we need at clients event that is server to client event and this is what we need at client to server event so this all we want to know about the events which is going to be have in our game and the, also the state which is stored at our backend for the given room for the given player and the endpoint that is a domain name which is a get request and that request is used to connect with a web socket and form a duplex connection with the backend so this is all what we need to know about the low level design of the freeble game if you like the content please share the video and subscribe to the channel and later on we will discuss the project setup of this project and i hope you got some uh, logical implementation of this game that how we are going to design this game and now it will be more easier for us to know what we are going to do in this game so that's it from my side for this video and bye bye thank you